Good afternoon, YouTube. This is your man, George Page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. And we know yesterday was the Linda Murray Norfolk Pro Show. And it is, you know, I always have a great respect for the Linda Murray Show. It is, I think it's, you know, Linda Murray has really has done her uh, a service to female bodybuilding. You know, she has stood up with areas where other female bodybuilders have kind of, you know, fall back. You know, as you know, there's not many have, there's some female body who have those shows, but don't have any female body attached to it. As you know, they want to have being good graces with IFBB. But, you know, Linda Murray has stepped up. Now, I had respect for Linda Murray. But this time, I've, I've been kind of, I feel disappointed by this show. And this is just me talking, you know, as a fan. And if you don't like how I, my, my opinion of it, don't watch the video. Just turn it off. So anyway, um... This show was, to me, I think it was one of the disappointing shows out of all the little murders I've ever uh, uh, talked about or mentioned. Now, um, this is the score sheet from the Linda Murray show. And what I, did, what I just found out while I was watching the show, from the information I was getting, they, 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 there was another competitor that was added on. And that was one Miss uh, Shannon Raybon. And Miss Shannon Raybon, she earned her pro card back in 2018, and she competed to, for this show. And congratulations, thank you for stepping in and becoming the extra body where it's needed. So anyway, the winner of this show was Madonna McDay. And to tell you the truth, Madonna McDay did not deserve to win this show. I don't know why the judges, I don't know, I'm not a judge. Like I said, I'm a fan. I don't, I don't see what they saw in Madonna McDay. I truthfully don't. Because when her, at the New York Pro, she didn't come in get, get condition. And at the Omaha, she didn't come in condition. And this is just a week away from the Omaha. And I don't know how a week can make a difference. What she should have did was skip after the New York. She should have skipped Omaha and focused on the Tampa to, to defend her title. And the one person who truly, I believe, should have won that show was who took second place was Janine Lukowski. And, you know, I reached out to Janine because we are, I come say whatever I was doing on um, social media and I told her my thoughts and she's really cool on it. She understands. And I, and, 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 you know, it's just, to me, it's just, and, you know, third place went to Nikki Chartrand and I would accept that Nikki took first place. I could have accepted that, you know, and I don't think really, truthfully, uh, you know, LaDon shouldn't even be any higher than third. Now, Fourth went to Gabriela Pina de la Vega, you know, and this is congratulations in returning to female bodybuilding, taking fourth place. Fifth went to uh, to uh, Hola Lopez. Six, uh, Shannon Raybon. She took you know that six. Uh, seventh, Andrea Sawyer. Eighth, Gina uh, Calaverio. Uh, ninth was a tie between Whitney Armstrong and Marie uh, Marie Bradley. Then 11th was uh, Tamara uh, Marker, and 12th went to Victoria, the Russian. She took the bottom again. But this is, was the, uh, the, 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 uh, the first call out. And you pretty much had, truthfully, you had Ladon and Janine in the very middle. And to me, I think, I, I, was, I, I really thought that Janine was going to take it. But it was like I said, it was a social media with some ladies who were following following the contest, and they said that mm, there's a possibility that it wouldn't be um, be Janine. But we we was kind of in our minds we see like we didn't really see how can Ladon win it because she looked like she was in great shape. You could see in this picture how you know in the mid section Ladon looks soft, even the quads. She's not she's not in great condition. Maybe around the arms, yes, but the rest of her is not really all put together. You know, I just don't see it. And I can see Nikki taking first place. I can honestly see Nikki taking first place. You know? And I don't see how Ladon, even Ladon, she could have took fifth. You know? If anything, fifth or fourth. You know, and you know, I can see I can see Nikki taking first. If they wouldn't even, if they didn't want to give Janine first, they could have taken Nikki first, Janine second, and Gabriella third. And then Ladon could have took fourth. Uh, and then fourth could have went to uh, Shannon and fifth and sixth to the to uh, Hoda. They could have done that, but I don't know. I'm not a judge. I'm a fan, and 
it's just, I don't know what you really, I think one point they were talking about the back and I just don't see where the Don truthfully pushed out Janine. And to me, this is some bull crap. This is now LaDonna has a second shot to Olympia. And her last Olympia, she didn't do that good. And I don't know why she even got a second uh, second straight shot to Olympia. After the two shows, she hadn't even come conditioning. And to me, this is all po politics. And I would, th I would think that, you know, someone like Linda, Linda Murray wouldn't, you know, get into politics. But, you know, Jake Woods, he's the money man. And he, this is his world and we're just, you know, uh, squirrels in his world. And, you know, he just, whatever says it goes. But what it did was, uh, Janine did get a, a, a prize. She won best poser. Janine always is a great poser. She, she has won um, poser, best poser multiple times in multiple shows. And to me, that's a consolation prize. Even though she should win both prizes, both as, as a champion and best poser. But we all know what politics are. And, but Don, in truth, does not, you know, this is from the, uh, the Omaha. And come on, this is just a, the show was just a week ago. A week ago. How much could you do within a week? You know, it takes a lot. I mean, what, when, when you're like, I'm, I'm learning a lot from the sport. And from when, when, I'm, when I have my conversation with the ladies and when I, you know, reach out to some of them and, and I have discussions, I'm learning a lot. And just a week doesn't make much of a difference. Even if she did have time to diet and to train, and then that's a week, it's not enough. What she should have did was, when, when this show came up, she should have skipped it and focused on the Tampa the, to, to, um, to defend her title there. She should have did that. You know, that would have been a better show to focus on the Tampa. And Nikki, to me, she looked more the superior competitor. If you wouldn't give Janine the, the title, you should have given Janiki. I would accept that over, um, you know, LaDon. You know, you're going to give it to Janine. And also, um, you know, congratulations to uh, Gabriella, Gabby. She goes by also by Gabby on social media. You know, I follow her she, I've, as a Facebook friend of hers also. And she looked pretty impressive. You know, she, you know, especially she competed in physique for quite a while and she made the switch back to bodybuilding. And I think this was a you know, great opportunity. Maybe we might see more of her in bodybuilding again. And um, Hoda, I think, as I was talking with some of the other ladies, she still has some issues she needs to work on. I think uh, she really needs to maybe focus a little bit. Maybe next year we might see her come back. Uh, maybe she might consider skipping next year. I don't know. I'm just this is what where I'm just getting from the information from some other people that you know Hoda really has some things she needs to work on. And you know, but she you know she's pretty impressive. I would say you know, especially this is her day. This is the second show she gets competed as a bodybuilder. No, well, actually the third. I mean, she she competed at Chicago. Both the Miss International and Chicago Pro, then the uh, Omaha, and uh, I, she was she was on IG a while back. She's not going to do Tampa because she says she wanted to focus on her her daughter's birth. Her daughter's uh, birth is coming up that week, and she says she wants to spend time with her daughter. She says she's going to skip to Chicago and the Tampa. She might try to do the Savannah, so that's a possibility. And um, um, Miss Raybon, I mean, congratulations appreciation for coming in and, and, and doing the show and being an extra body. So thank you. And Andrea Soria, uh, Andrea still has some things she needs to work on. Um, she needs, you know, cause one thing is like this. She, she did pretty good last year. And the thing is, people gonna say this last year was, was, was it was around when we had the, uh, the start of the pandemic and was that many comp competitors, but she did pretty good. But this time around, once the, once the, once the restrictions ended for next year, and once a lot of the, the uh, bodybuilders are on both sides of the border, north and south of the border, the bodybuilders across the water come in, she's going to drown. She has to make improvements. And, you know, she has to really make improvements. And Gina, she has the size, but she needs to work on her conditioning. And that's the thing about it. I think, it's, I think often conditioning and dieting, everything, it's just so much that we got to put together. And with these two ladies between um, Whitney and Marie, there's a lot of things they had to work together. I think with Whitney, I think with her, she just switched from women's physique. And I think she just jumped to women's body building too early. She needs some more time off, you know, a little more time before she really got into female bodybuilding. And I mean, too, with um, 
uh, Tamara. She did pretty good at the New York, but you know, like I said, you know, New York was another show. It was, you know, she looking for herself in that show. But you know, I think I was watching. I was, she was on um, IG. She she talked to the judges. They told her some things. She needed some feedback from the judges, and I think she might take those, that feedback and really work on a few things. And this is uh, Victoria. I think with her, I think this is not her show. You know, I've, usually I would say this, what, Linda's a great show for the bigger women, but the last few years I think that Linda's getting away from from a lot of the bigger women also. So she might maybe focus on something like the the uh, Muscle Fest. As I said again, with Regina, she's uh, friends and uh, training partners with uh, uh, Hella Trevino. And you know, Hella Trevino's getting ready for both the uh, Rising Phoenix and the uh, and Olympia. And I think with that, uh, I was talking with some of the other competitors. When you work, when you have somebody who's a competitor also and they try to be a coach, it doesn't work good. It doesn't work good. You need a real coach who has the time to sit with you, work with your diet, work with your planning, work with your prep. Because right now, Helen has to work with her, her diet and her prep, and she can't invest all her time within Gina. Gina could would Gina would be a, a great female bodybuilder if she really has somebody who has the time to work with her. So I think I know her and Helen are good friends. They train together, but I think she needs to find somebody else who can work with her. Maybe her and Helen can still be workout buddies, but she needs her own coach. That's what she needs to really do. She can make some improvements. And I said again, with Andrea and Carla, they most definitely need some work to do. I'm mean, one point I was watching a video, and it was around when they're doing the final pose. And when uh, Carla, uh, Carla Marie swung around, her butt was a bit saggy. And you ever saw an uh, old, uh, like one of these movies where like it was like uh, you have an old man walking around, like in a, in a I think it was a movie, I forgot what movie it was, I think it was Awakenings with uh, Robin Williams. And the old man got up and he was wearing his, uh, the, the gown, he saw his butt out. That's how Carla Butt looked like. It, Carla Marie Butt looked like an old man's butt, you know. She needs to tighten her glutes. And she's been out of the game for quite some time. She competed last year. And she needs to do some work. And she, she has a great quads, killer quads. She's up there with uh, Margie V when it comes to quads. I think she really should sit out next year, both of them. Because like I said, if Andrea thinks about competing next year, and with a lot of the, like I said, again, a lot of the women from, a, from across the north and south of the borders, and the women and the women from overseas come in, she's going to drown. They, you know, think about like the Lisa, the Lisa Cross, the the Robin Hillises, the uh, Jay Fuchs, um, so many others that come back because they couldn't compete because of um, the restrictions, the travel restrictions, because Americans set in against other countries. If they get if the ones those restrictions are lifted and they come back to compete in, in the shows here in the states, she will drown. So I would say skip twenty twenty two. Come back in 2023. Re more reason why that, you know, Madame Day got the big push because, you know, her friendship with uh, Andrea, Sh Andrea uh, Shaw. Uh, that's maybe it, but it's politics mostly. It's mostly politics. I don't think Madame deserved first place. Maybe fourth. At the most. At the least fifth. She did not come in great condition. And she, like I said, the Omaha was a week ago. Not much can change from a week ago. Maybe a month or so, give her time to work on her conditioning. Maybe a, a good whole month, she could have come in a little better. But a week, I don't think you can really do much in a week. Like I said, to me, Janine Lakowski is a true people's champ, champion. She won that show. And whatever reason, she didn't they didn't give it to her. I don't know. I can't say I, I did this a while back when uh when uh, Jay Fuchs lost to the Chicago Pro back in 2018. I did it last year. It was uh when uh Rashawn Boswell lost at the Chicago Pro um at Chicago Pro to, to, to Teresa Invoxic. I when I see something like this, I have to speak out. I have to. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. But I gotta say what's on my mind or what's on my heart. If I don't, it's gonna eat at me. Janine worked hard. I remember she she talked about how she had surgery on her tricep. She bounced back. And she did pretty good. She and she made the Olympia last year. You know? I mean, and I, I you know, say so I reached out to her because I you know I'm I'm friends with her on social media. 
I was talking with her this morning. I posted some stuff. I even sent some stuff to her, to Nancy Lewis, because you know I know her and Nancy are friends, and I gave her my thoughts and my opinions. And we both can't agree that there's some stuff that's going on. I, me and Nancy can't agree. This is like that old say there's something rotten in Denmark. Janine should have won this show. She came in a better condition. She came in character. Even if it's just a little something that's small. Just a little something small. It could be that it could be that significant compared to how overall that Vadama Day did not come in in a complete condition. <sighs> But like I said, it's all about politics. It's all about who you are, what you do, and what you and what you can provide for a certain people. And I think what they want to push is a Dom the Day's look or whatever. To me, I have you no. Know, this is not an issue. People can say, "Where's well, my issue about race?" I'm a black man, and as I often said, I love my sisters of melody. But this sister, she did not deserve this award. And if this is some kind of a, uh, you know. Pushing uh, some kind of narrative or, uh, you know, other kind of thing. It's not right. You shouldn't get a ward because of who you are or whatever you are. I mean, it's just, you should earn it. You should earn it. You know, I know some conservatives say, yeah, yeah, but this is a different situation. And this is competition. It's not like something where, which in history, where which our people were taken advantage of and never get the right to eat never get the right to what they deserved. This is where competition where somebody was given something because they didn't really earn it. That's the big difference. So, like I said, Janine, you're truly the people's champion. You deserve this. You should have got to Linda. And I don't know how Linda Murray can really, you know, accept this. I, I was watching a video last night of, um, of Alina giving a critique. I'll put it in the description. You go check out the link. And you can see in a way how she kind of try to convince herself. Maybe just me, my opinion. I'm just, sometimes it's just, I have some like a, a sense of people. How she try to convince herself that LaDonna Day wanted this show. You know, and usually her and, um, and Linda do, do the little critique together. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, you know, um, Janine, you're truly the people's champ. When I finish, I'm going to send this video to you. I hope you like it. You know, I know you don't want to say anything out of turn because you are a white, a, a, a wind of strength ambassador. But like I said, this is me. Me as a fan. Me as a person who is who is the emperor of bodybuilding talk. Just saying what's on my mind. Because I can't let this, I just can't let uh, this injustice just, just go on. You should be on the Ray Joyce page, a.k.a. the emperor of female bodybuilding talk. Like. Don't like, subscribe. Don't subscribe. I'm out.